back. Ugh. Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess, never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Good! You unlocked it! It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. I'm returning the key. You want a medal? Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Yum! 
What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? You should put that on your scurvy dog. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. I found one. Awesome. There was still one left. Darn. Chucky had a mustache. Ah! Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? The Chuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag, a depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm 
not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny, he said the same thing about you. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, there was Captain Madison? She's like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. Exactly. It's a raid. Fine. Well, don't keep us in suspense. What's the target? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incredible cultural value. Culture? You mean like a cheese or something? <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, 
the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Uh, I like the old pirate leaders better. Ling? Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. Bye. Honoring Melee Island's 27th Governor, Cardla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Port Elizabeth. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. I'm going... I know of your desire to find the secret of Monkey Island. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Ooh. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Ah. 
Hi there, newcomer. Hiya. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. All at once? How does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? Ha <laughs> ha! Otis! Howdy, kid. And Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic! You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time. And I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. 
Watch your boots in here, so... Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart! You'd go to a competitor? Where's your loyalty, son? Well, seeing as you're in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought... It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny! Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike! If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Okay, well, thanks I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People. People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's... advice. 
See you later. Yep. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Carla. Guy brush three wood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's uh, nice to see you again. You too. Yeah. I hope you're not still sore about that thing with the ship that one time. Ancient history. Oh, good. I can think of plenty of more recent things to hold against you. Oh. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Aline can handle it. She doesn't need me. I don't doubt that. But it isn't about what she does or doesn't need. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? Ha! <laughs> I'd rather swallow a live badger than crew with you again. No offense intended. So unlikely, but still possible? No. You want a crew, go down to the docks and hire one. Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, gosh. You're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey Island or don't you? <clears throat> Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Uh, oh. uh, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. Uh. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog. Please take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Wow. 
Wow, that's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. It's a dried up old sea sponge. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon, Back shortly. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Museum of Pirate Lore. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom! You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? <clears throat> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Maybe Slavi's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck, nephew. Oh, ballsy play, Andrew. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry, can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays 3 to 4. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? 
I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Hey, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. All oh, their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't bring grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes. Sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh. Build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? 
Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. It seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm going to steal the chucks. Bold, I like your thinking. Ooh. I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got exactly? I have a great sense of humor, and I like long walks on the beach. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet, and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be, but dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? 
your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the definition of success. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with threads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Hey, Wally. Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. 
Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Tell me again what you need to make me a map to the mop tree. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high stakes, ego driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. Bye. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. It looks expensive and shiny. I like shiny. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait! Let him live! I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. How's your day going? I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Welcome back. Hi there. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. You look like you're having a good time. That's nice. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. 
I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their names should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up, with your toothbrush sealed inside, presumably. Well, don't worry yourself about it then, son. I found a dead centipede in the corner that should do until they let me out. See you later. Yep. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. As shown by your actions at Port Elizabeth, please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. This is for you. Dear Carla, I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful, considering it's you. I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book, and I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I... I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not... It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop <laughs> to it! Uh, right away, sir. I found this at the governor's mansion. Wow, Guybrush. I don't know how you knew I needed this, but the mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm.
Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something, doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. I... Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. I see you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. I'll have a look around. Please do. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. it's not important. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here, on Melee. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. 
Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. Wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. I'll take a shortcut back. Numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. I made him up. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Welcome back. Hi. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. If one monocle is good, two is better. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down.
Hello, Mr. Brush. Hello. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Uh, I think I should move farther away from the quartermaster first. Classic and subtle. Like me. Threepwood, are you trying to fool me by wearing an eye patch? That is the worst disguise I've ever seen. No, no, of course not. Just having a little eye trouble. Blepharous basil. Oh, try some cashews. You might be short on magnesium. Or wits. Darn, I thought this thing was supposed to be magic. I must have forgotten something. I better take off this eye patch first. Hey, watch it! What do you make of this eye patch? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good, great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If. If. If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right, I'll see what I can do. Gotcha, you pointy little tricky a fight. There you go. 
Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient, powerful charm, or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B-Y-O-M. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick, tangle a boat line. <sniffs> Smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Chuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here, you sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice! A cruel and vengeful deity! I only have one simple rule, 
You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But no! What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Uh, what if I need to, um, you know? Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. More chickens? <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? No, but I'm a big fan. Ah, my reputation precedes me, like the locusts before the storm. Locusts? But I will sign no autographs. The curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. I wonder what it's made out of. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Boy, these are really wedged in there. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh. I'll just put a little dab on there. Tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. Better. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Oi! You missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. Ah. 
It's working. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, Obviously, we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. Do you ever go to swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem. Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it, then. Meeting adjourned. We'll finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax, I was just making conversation. I'll find a skull someplace else. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this skull. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. <laughs> Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Pardon me, fearsome leader. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! Before I decide to use yours instead! Uh, 
Ew. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. I really think you should come with me. No. I can get you close to LeChuck. Hmm. I would very much like to be able to spy on LeChuck himself. <laughs> very well. You may transport me. Oh, I barely touched it. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And Why? also... I... <gasps> I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! Nice view up here. Sure. I'm just looking around for another way to get to Monkey Island. Be my guest. Hey, Flambe! Ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island! Okay. Thank 
I undercut my three, I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull! All they need is a skull, and they'll be heading for Monkey Island. Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great! If you say so, Swabby. I have an amazing idea! Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golad gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hold. Whoa, hang on. What do you mean you don't want to go to Monkey Island? It's not a cryptic metaphor, Swabby. We mean we don't want to go. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk Guybrush Threepwood. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. as a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside? I don't know, that's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I still think he should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. <laughs> okay. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. Nah, no, thanks, I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're gonna vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes, even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll take your next shift. 
If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I can come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Aha! I'll see what I can find. Working hard? Never. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. If you stuck your head in a bucket of water, would it help? Demon fire burns into water, so no. I'm guessing you don't wear hats. Once in a while, <laughs> I look good in them. For a few seconds. I can't stop thinking about your head. I mean, what it would be like to have a head that was on fire. I can help you out with that if you are really curious. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. Keep up the bad work. Always. Stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods. She has digestive trouble and I'm tired of cleaning it up. Uh, Flair? What? Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it, and now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Uh, can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back, right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> And I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. So, Putra. Chef Putra. Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. 
How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? <laughs> I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose you know how to make scorched Alaska? Of course I can make scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. What exactly is a scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. They think all we want to do is eat brains. Which, to be honest, I do want. But not constantly. That's a terrible stereotype. How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... I was asleep at the time? That is so, so common. At first, I thought it was a hangover. <laughs> Anyway... I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Great. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. 
Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It was demon pepper, made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Doesn't matter though, the shaker's empty. I'm all out. You, Swabby, come over here. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Crazy Beard, the Beardless. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. Shouldn't ye be swabbing? Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. I'm not sure if this is ectoplasm or what. Ugh. Go it. You. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby. Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me. The Chuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. But it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git. I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? Well, I guess you've got me there. Ha! If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? 
Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm going to eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity, then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait. No, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon. I'd get you for this. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. That's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale uh, knife. Uh, it's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. Disgraceful. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? What? Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. So, chef. Now that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, it's not going to be very spicy. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. This should make it good and scorchy. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska, sweet poisonous shades of my 
shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so uh, let's just say I'll vote you away next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. One bell. Voting hour. Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island. Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Come to order, you murdering, traitorous dogs. Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. A map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. In conclusion, shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass! All right, same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. Okay, Marie, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <coughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Hey! Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> wow. Brave one. Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. I'm going to skewer you like a pig on a spit. You do fight more like a cook than a swordsman. <laughs> okay, decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all swagger and no dagger. I've got plenty of dagger. Blast. <laughs> I 
Hey, cheating! I won that round! Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? It's waving goodbye! That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. It's waving goodbye. More like a white flag, then. Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's got to be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Hi, Threepwood. Whoa, whoa. Good thing I can still hold my breath for 10 minutes, more or less. Is it more or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for 10 minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time I heard you say 12. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do 10 minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. Just a whole lot of jungle around here. Secret this way. It's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Whoa! That's not LeChuck. LeChuck is a greenish, shouty guy with a beard and a big hat. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets, but I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? How about his lookout's favorite food? I know that one. Not helpful. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't stop with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. You could just ask him? Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. 
we could search his ship for information while he's gone? We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again, in or out. What are the alternatives? We kill you. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey ahead if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood? You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. Hey, partners. Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I'm worried LeChuck's crew will recognize me at the ship. I had a disguise before, but it's gone now. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Okay. I'll see what I can come up with. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. It says the sea monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Wow! The sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Either that, or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. Murray? Is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh. It's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this, in case I ever take up skull juggling. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. Murray? Is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Oh, it's just a soaked skull. I'll keep this for my Skull Club meetup. I'm sensing pure evil here. More than what's reasonable for an ordinary sea creature. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. Seal it shut. Drowning down, I adjust me thoughts. 
Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. No, wait. Hold, only joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it's... It, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Germs. Oh yeah, that could work. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. Resentment. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Snack. Right, uh, of course, very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? Well, so you can steal them? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Hey. What do you want? Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does a the screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. Uh, that's not bad. Lob, fob, gob. Oh, gob. Gob could work. Anyway, let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. The new swab you mentioned, what was he like? Rising star? Diamond in the rough? A useless plank. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. Enjoy your evening. Are you leaving? Without, without helping me? When I get out of here, I'm going to eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. I've got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poetry. That, that'd be fantastic. But I'm a little inconvenienced at the moment, you know, stuck on the rudder and all that. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend? I'd be happy to do that. And, uh, and, Let's just keep this a secret between us, if you don't mind. <laughs> Mum's the word until they're announced. You! Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Oh! Even a fan of live squid. Hey, partner. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Like chomping worms or colorful germs. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect!
qui doloram ipsum. Quia dolor sitamet. Oh. Nisi uta liquid pexia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin docecat, quidetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. Bye, partner. This can't be right! Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Like chomping worms or colorful germs, Ideas fill my head. The poems flow as resentment grows, creatively undead. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. I'm still feeling the sting of your knife. I got the knife back, so you let me know if the feeling fades. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. You just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does. Seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. See ya. It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection.
How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Gullet, you tough old slab of crocodile meat! Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Uh, no thanks. Not so hungry right now. Really? I can't remember you ever saying no to food before. You must have something on your mind, as unlikely as that sounds. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash. You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with this? That's a nice one. Have it for you in a jiff. Bon appetit. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. Hour. What's going on? I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Oh. It's the theme music Flair was working on. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. Waste of time. Hope my suit didn't burn. Partner, we're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Threepwood! I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. Uh, ouch! Hey! Oh. 
ho, ho. That's promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say Lechuk's catchphrase. Plunder the seven timbers. Quis ad vel veleptate velit. Now, eat Lechuk's favorite food. Do I have to? Yes. Can't someone else do it? No. Oof. Okay. Oh. oh. Wow. Look, there are lines on it. It's working. This dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? Let's take a vote on kicking me off the cliff. I. 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 Hey! You've been voted off the island. No. Oh. And now, good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. It came from over here somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> Uh, I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Oh, I think it hurts more than that time with the cannon and the tent pole. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? It only hurts when I breathe. Still, best to keep that up, I think. If I have to. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. I can't compete with LeChuck or Madison. Let alone both. They've got crews. They've got ships. They've got supernatural magic powers. I've got some crackers and two monocles. And your charming personality. Might as well just lie here and starve to death. 
I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. What difference does it make? Well, it makes a difference to me, if nothing else. Come on, let's go. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say map? Hello? Murray, is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island. Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? Well, I didn't have the map then. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? Fantastic. Thank you. Race you to the ship. Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Slowpoke. You had a head start. Well, we did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. <laughs> you saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take it! With my bar gone and no hope to repair it, this is all I have left! <laughs> How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palates. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. Searching for the secret since before you were born! That's exactly my point! Finding the secret is a young pirate's game! Years of 
of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ha! Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I'm still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up, and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other, and we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Teammates. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in there. It just has to be. You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Can't you read my mind? No need. I can read your face well enough. The secret is where you suspect it is. Inside the large safe near the front door. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh. But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract, signed in blood, with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret, full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers. But I make no promises. You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Hold on to that feeling. I am Wideling Bones. Widey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys. Hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bird 
Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have, just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh-huh. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Hey, Wally. What was the deal with all the crazy maps on Monkey Island? I made the map to the secret, and a darn good one, I might add. But what other people do with it after purchase is not my legal responsibility. Why didn't you tell me the map said the secret was right across the street? That would have saved me a lot of time. Sorry, but I was all NDA'd up on that one. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. Welcome to the God's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block mm. and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked mm. passing familiar. The shop seems nice. If by nice, you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't you? Do you guys fish? Have you ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher? Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. 
and a consummate angler she was. B what? Good at fishing. She had a secret fishing mm. spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location, though tis rumored that she left clues as to its whereabouts. Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? Not to my memory. No, I don't think so. Just thought I'd check. Did you guys feel the earthquake? That we did. At first, I thought it were just me stomach complaining about me breakfast. Aye, we all thought mm. that. I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? What a prize. I know. They say the pirate what holds the secret can never be sunk. That the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. What are these pointy ones? Slime heads. Some folks like to cut off the pointy mm. parts before eating, but that's a personal choice. I'd like to buy some slime heads. Stout fellow. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. What's that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I mm. said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Hmm. Can I join the Chums? Well... I can tell a good story. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Welcome back. Hi. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. Our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Some other time. I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay.
Hey, Guybrush! Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No. Stan got sentenced to hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Are you worried the rest of the building will cave in? Yes! You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. Hey! Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so what's it for? I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. Tell me about this flag. Oh, it's a super valuable artifact I recently acquired. One of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. One of only three known to exist. Whoa, that's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. They were all in on it, but Threepwood was the ringleader. First he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing us to sing musical notes against our will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot, and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. Right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. Stan's building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it.
<laughs> what would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date? She did? That's fantastic! I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room! Excuse me, lots to plan. Okay if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. Our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. You know, what your story needs, it's a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Okay then, your story's not bad. But it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? You spend a lot of time looking out your window. I'll watch the locksmith. Maybe somebody comes with a golden key someday, you know? Anything is possible. I'll keep an eye on the fish shop, too. There is a mystery here. Lot of fish, but no boat. Did you mean what you said about a curse? You still gonna look for the keys if it's true? Of course. Then it does not matter. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Thanks. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Oh well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My mom's gardener's second cousin's pastry chef says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? It looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Scurvy! On board! Quarantine! Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably crawling with scurvy, trust me. Hi. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was bad. <laughs> oh, 
You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. It says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet plumed point and snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, had me fooled. Elaine, are you decent? Hello? Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I sat for this portrait too. Hi, I'm working due west of the lake and due north of the waterfall today. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. And I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. Hi. Hi. I was hoping I'd run into you again. 
I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? There was a complication. Isn't there always? A big, heavy, rectangular complication with five keyholes and a secret inside. Well, that sounds daunting. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see. But people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict. But as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know. I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Did you happen to feel the earthquake while you were on Monkey Island? I think I was right at the epicenter. Yes, I think you were. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. You said a seagull carried away my half of the picture of us? It flew into the lime groves. So far, I haven't found it. Sorry. Love you. You too. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush! You've joined the chums! I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like to have a kraken attacking your ship? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Okay, well, I think this is really good for you. You should find some other chums to share your gift with. I'll do that. Uh, hello? Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so good. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Where is everybody? Flambe's up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Uh, don't tell LeChuck I was here, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Remind me why Flambe still has a job. He doesn't do anything. 
He's handy to have around when we have to fix things below the waterline at night. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Hey, Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's your joke book back. I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. Wow, the lane sure has been busy. That ought to give it some zip. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Stay back! I can see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? At the moment. Thank goodness! I'm Ned Filigree, accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan S. Stanman? The name sounds familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless, except economically. Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda Quarry for a good long time. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want to. Also, since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm going to have to pay taxes on the secret? Not if you're smart about it. I'm going to explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. That's a mighty fine looking chest you have there. What's in it? Everything I own. The fruits of a man's life. The yardstick by which I'll be measured when I'm gone. It's mainly paperwork. Can I have the picture? No, that would be weird. Halt, ship. If... If that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. All 
right. Let's see how you've done. Hmm, good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay, this looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you please? Innocent. Due to lack of evidence, all charges have been dropped. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests! What did Your Honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court-appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! I submit these official-looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? It's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. 
we stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. All right. Not a half bad story. You know who you should talk to. There's a crazy old yardarm hanger, Bob something. I think he sails with Captain LeChuck. Apple Bob. Sounds right. Thanks. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend Stan together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him. But no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? About five to ten. Minutes or hours? You don't have the look of a man doing any more than that. Nope, you have the look of a man who's going places, and who might want to decorate those places when he gets there. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Transparency. Together, they- Stan! Not today. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. How about I bust you out of here? Yeah, this place seems a little harsher than the jail on Melee. I might or might not know a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records... Well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. 
can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Nice view! Roaring fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. It's slowly filling up with castle. Your Majesty? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush three foot, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many wives have you got? Just the one I'm aware of. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, guy brush? Your crown, as a matter of fact. Ha! <laughs> Get in line. Everybody wants the crown. Everybody? The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Perhaps I would be able to help safeguard that valuable item. I think it's perfectly safe with me. And with the armed guard standing at the foot of the stairs blocking your exit. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. Rest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. Three trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. They're contests. Can you give me more details on the contests to become queen? The contest of heartiness is an eating contest. Raw fish. Call it sushi if it helps you sleep better. The contest of seriousness is one where you must keep a straight face. Whoever laughs first loses, which I never do. The contest of intelligence is an algebra test. 20 second time limit, best answer wins. And yes, I do always have the best answer. You sound like you're serious about this. I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio! 
another challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest of heartiness. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is bloater. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. I'll make this quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Good luck. You weave a story like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Hello. What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. Are these eels? Hagfish. Very tasty, but don't let them get around your neck. What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. These are tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the shipment. What are those fish up there called? Bloaters. Best not to ask why. But I'd like to trade my fish in for some bloaters. An underrated delicacy. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. <sighs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art, even though that's just what it is. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. Mm. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. 
I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. Is it all right if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. Mm. Seriously? Be sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make two things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. Hello. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. How's it going, chums? Yes, yes, that's very clever. Do we have any special privileges for being high-ranking chums? Not even the respect of your peers, my boy. Just the use of any property that belongs to the society. Aha! Gross. Looks like the old avocado soup. Not done with my drink. Hello. Mm. That was refreshing. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for bourbon contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. was an absolute ripper. I hereby declare you the winner. The blowfish is yours. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? I've got a golden key. Then we're equal now. You come back when you got more than me. Maybe we can talk about something. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Welcome back. Hiya. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. He's in jail for years and years. My 
think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh, no. Take these records. Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda. They'll know what to do with them. It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. Y Z Z Y. Wow, neat! It's magic. The pit of agony lies ahead. That's promising. Okay, here goes. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. It says, Warning, it's a long way. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. Ow. <sighs> Ow. Lucky thing you landed on my bed. Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. How have you been? Meh. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. 
Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah! Whew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. It's a golden key. What did this used to be? That's the cover of a book I was reading. At the end of the plank. No touching! That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Just give me the key already. Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. Freeport, alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Freeport. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the key. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. Unexpected, but welcome. Yikes. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? I'm debating whether to include this story in my memoirs right about now. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? 
<laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. Sales and marketing people like Stan are a blight on society, to be sure. But a month was all I could give him. The case lacked evidence. If there had been any legally binding evidence, I would have given him ten years with no chance for parole. Uh, he once sold me a leaky ship. Does that count? The court rules not admissible, given the statute of limitations is up. Court is adjourned! Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that net filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. The court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Threepwood. If I don't get order, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned. This should clear up any issues about who I am. Do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are Ned Filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal? I do. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the eleventh time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. <laughs> on this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. It'll take more than that to crack me up. What do you call a demon who is always on fire? Burn E. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Yeah! Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. One contest down, two to go. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. 
Assuming you're real, of course. Just because I can see it doesn't necessarily mean you're real. Case in point. You'll never guess who I thought was here in the cave stealing my golden key. But then he just vanished. Which is something hallucinations do that real people generally don't. Come to think of it, though, uh, where is that key? I, I had it right here. And there aren't that many places it could have gone. Welcome, Your Majesty and Mr. Threepwood, to the Contest of Intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. I don't have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra problem. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threepwood is the winner. But how is that Possible. Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Only one more contest to go. That ought to give it some zip. In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Odina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! <laughs> and in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ah. And now, let the eating commence. Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Swan is Mr. Threepwood! <laughs> Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Honor and dignity? The queenship is not an a la carte position. Okay, sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? C can I ask about the obey part? I mean, if I'm queen... The queen is also a citizen. Fine, I'll do it. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? 
this is starting to sound like a trap. It's just standard contractual language. Okay, I guess I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Is there a flex time option? I have other commitments. You may sleep between the hours of 11 and 4. Oh, all right. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. You want my advice. Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I'm off to write my memoirs. Um, as your queen, I've decided to abolish the monarchy in favor of total anarchy. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the limes. There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Uh, fangberries. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if fangberries could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Irresistible charm? You've already got that. 
Aww. Everybody wants to be charming. That's perfect. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that. Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. Plunder the main. Good. That'll have some appeal for the pirating demographic. This is your new flyer. Show people this, and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. I'll just borrow this for a little while. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Fangberries, a new amazing miracle fruit. Uh, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic. Have you got any of these miracle fangberries? Sure thing. Right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved. Plunder the main and welcome aboard. It's seen better days. The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. This is certainly exciting. Watch out below. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. My lungs are full of delicious air again. Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. That's the last key. Voodoo Shop, here I come. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Threepwood has all the keys! That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same for you, however. Ah, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people.
Wow. It's cheesier than I imagined, but still beautiful. Go! Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Well, uh, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. The key is probably somewhere obvious. Three, four! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whitey Bones said she saw you come in. Are you all right? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. Whatever. That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. Oh, nonsense. Give me 12 examples. <laughs> if you meant to challenge me, you should have gone for a larger number. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. Eh, the crown was flimsy. It just fell apart. Someone who was there described you as straining so hard she thought you might tear your own arm off. But maybe she was exaggerating. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It wasn't poison. It was just hot pepper. She was fine an hour later. I did have to convince her not to file suit. You owe me one. I appreciate that. Incidentally... I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. How many is that now? Four? Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. I used a pseudonym. How did you know it was me? My T Pirate. It wasn't hard to figure out. Doesn't everyone use that one? 
Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. I couldn't get back into the cave without the lamp. It, um, broke. And the old lamp shop on Melee shut down years ago. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? It doesn't matter. It's just the finding part that counts. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? I remember them. Full of lava and tiny ledges. It's a good thing you're wearing your adventure boots. Hope you also brought your adventure sword. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Eh, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head scratcher how that happened. Thanks for the C-Map. That was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Oh yeah, that's right. I did make you a mop map. Wait! It's all starting to make sense now. Why is it that every time our paths cross, Good old Wally is kidnapped or tormented or worse. The mysteries of how the universe works may never be known. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure, run off. Wally will be fine. Bombay, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Are you just trying to slow me down? The Chuck doesn't handle frustration well. You've been warned. Yeah, that's right. Run! I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay, here goes. Phew. LeChuck, I'm coming for you! Damn you, Threepwood! I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once, I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. 
I'm naming it Captain Squint. Chuck, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate Streepwood. The secret will never be yours. Huh? Threepwood, won't you ever give up and just go home? Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. Only the observant pirate will pass. Chuck, the secret is mine. You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. The secret is mine. Third time, be a charm, three weed. <laughs> Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. It looks like its arm is hurt.
stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. I was just deep in the mushroom and lava-ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh no. Not yet. Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. Dang, Stan makes LeChuck better every time. The secret is mine. Good thing LeChuck didn't find the secret first. I don't think it's his size. Each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge. But it's still LeChuck, zero. Guybrush, three wood, six. The secret is mine. Not this time, my old nemesis. Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. They'll have fishing lures just like yours. Historic Landmark, the original secret a pirate adventure park, established 1989 by R. Gilbert. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? I got the secret! You finally did it! I hope it was worth it. I'm gonna have to think about that. How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. I'm gonna look around some more. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. Dad, that was a silly end 
ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. Mom, Dad won't tell me what the secret is. Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. (laughs) Oh, that one. (laughs) Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there.
It's too dark to go back there. Yeah, must have locked when I came out. <laughs> 